All right, once you have your projects up and running, and here we can quickly look at all the projects, not, not just the ones that are uh, assigned to me and I'm the owner off of. Here we have a couple projects here. Here we, we have a few tasks within those projects. Now we're gonna learn how to create new issues or risks within those projects. So we can do this either from the actual projects themselves or by going to these two different entities, two separate entities, uh, issues and risks, uh, and uh, create an issue or risk there. So how about we go to issues um, log here, and here we have nothing in there because this is a brand new uh, empty environment right now. And uh, now we're gonna click on a new button, and we're gonna create a new risk. I'm sorry, a new issue. And it's gonna be new issue uh, related to market change or something like that. And um, uh, financial impact is gonna be $2,000 and uh, we can say we're gonna address this on the 28th of the uh, January uh, as a due date. And we can also say this is a schedule related costs or resource related category. We'll just say the cost related category, the currency in which the risk is locked in. And a related project. We may or may not necessarily link this to a project just yet. Maybe this is something that we don't know to which project it is related to. But if we already know to which project it is related to, we can already click on that um, on that um, uh, little magnifying glass here and uh, get the drop down of those projects and say, you know, this is a new project name that we have there as a project. So now save and close. This would basically log this as an issue. And if we go to the project and try to look at the list of uh, list of issues associated with this project by going to the project and clicking on that issues tab, this would get us uh, the list of all the related issues for that project. That's pretty cool, right? So it's created today and uh, I can really look into the issue right there and get to the same issue the same way. So that was um, uh, the way how you create issues, the same exact way you would create risks. And uh, I'll talk about this in our next video. Thanks for watching.